This training video is brought to you by K-Alliance. K-Alliance is the 21st century's educational corporation specializing in the most comprehensive enterprise training solutions ranging from e-learning to instructor-led training. Press play for success. After watching this video, be sure to become a Facebook fan to receive the latest updates, promotions, and course releases. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel to preview the latest desktop, soft skills, and IT training videos. Let's take a look at two of the most popular ways to read email, and then you can choose which you like the best. I'm going to go ahead and go into Outlook. Now, once I get into Outlook, I want to use this example here, and I, I created this just as a test for this, for this class. So you'll notice that it's already been opened. The little icon here says that the message has already been opened. And the way that it has been opened was simply double-clicking on it. So I'm going to point to this line anywhere here, and it looks blue on my screen. So I'm going to click to this blue line and double-click. And when I double-click, I have just opened the message. And now I can read the message. It's as simple as a double-click away. And then when you're finished, the X in the top right-hand corner allows you to close the message, and now it has been read. Well, there's another option that people often use, and it's found in the View tab. So across the top, you choose your View tab, and then on your ribbon, you find the section for layout, and there's something called, oh, excuse me, I clicked on the wrong one there, I meant reading pane. There's something called the reading pane, and when you have the reading pane, you see mine is currently turned off, I can put it off to the right. Now there's that exact same email that we just saw sitting over to the right of my inbox, or I can show it at the bottom. And there's no wrong, right or wrong or rhyme or reason, it's just personal preference. You can do whatever you like, place it in the, in the spot that is the most convenient for you to use, or if you don't like it at all, you can go ahead and turn it off. It's 100% up to you. Now the other thing to know about the reading pane is your settings will determine if when you see a message in the reading pane that you actually open it or you do not open it. Because sometimes using the reading pane, it doesn't technically open the email. The only benefit that there is to having it open or not is personal preference. It's complete personal preference to you. So let's see what my settings are. I'm going to go ahead and click on this message just above called Amazing People and Amazing Stunts. And as we sit here with it clicked on, you'll notice that the icon is not changing. It's not opening up the mail. And so the settings for this particular Outlook are to read mail in the reading pane without actually opening the message. You simply need to be aware of what's happening inside of your inbox and then if you don't like the way it's set then you go to your mail settings and you can change it. So you choose. You can either use the reading pane to read your mail or you can turn that off and then to read mail you would simply double click to open up a message. It's up to you.